Hey, what's up everybody? It's Seth from Fowler Customs, and today I'm back at it again with another unboxing. This time, it's the restocked Air Jordan 11 7210s. So about a week ago on February 15th, there was a restock of the 7210s and the Maroon 6s on a lot of the foot sites like Foot Locker and Champs, things like that. I really wanted to double up on the 7210s because they're a fire shoe, the 11 silhouette's dope. Um, I know I'm going to beat up my pair of 7210s now, so I wanted a pair to keep on ice. So um, when I struck out on all the other websites, I actually ended up going to ZetaKicks.com and grabbing my pair from there. So here it is, the Air Jordan 11 7210 box. It's very similar to all the 11's boxes um, from years past. Uh, you've got the matte black on top, you've got the nice hit of red, and then you've also got this black, which is similar to the patent leather. It's shiny and it's got those little like sparkles that the uh, patent leather have. Um, so let's open it up and see what's inside. So when you first open the box, you get this, the nice red plastic with the 11 in Roman numerals. You got some verbiage. I think it says something like, Mike made them fly, you made them iconic. And then, you take off this plastic, and inside, you've got the paper that looks like the carbon fiber on the sole. Let's open this up, and there they are. The Air Jordan 11 7210s. It's looking all fresh. I dig them. So this time around, it looks like they went a little bit more premium than usual for the 11s. On the upper, you've got this nice black tumbled leather. The patent leather is slightly different than usual patent leathers in that it's not a solid color. It actually looks like a clear coat over top of more tumbled leather with this nice sort of like sparkle shimmer thing going on that I'm not sure if you can catch in the camera, but it's there. The Jumpman's actually no longer stitched. It's a metallic coated piece of plastic right there on the side. And on the back, you've no longer got the sticker 23. You've got this nice stitch 23, which is probably going to be more durable and long lasting than the sticker that always tended to crack. On the bottom you got this nice hit of red with the carbon fiber and then you've got this really interesting milky outsole which actually last December when they first started coming out I was hearing reports of people getting their pairs in pretty heavily oxidized so the, the milky white has sort of turned to this like weird yellow. Um, this pair seems okay but it's something to keep in mind when you're storing your 7210s. So I think at this point it's time to throw these on feet and see how they look. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. And make sure to follow Fowler Customs on all forms of social media.